Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. Well, I was very excited to do a race between the two input shaping machines that we have. The MK4 has been flashed with the newest firmware that is now a stable input shaper, and the Mini was just flashed with the new Alpha firmware, so it's they're both up to date, and I wanted to race them and see what would be faster, but I got off to a bad start. Um, on the Mini, it's saying that the hot end fan is not spinning, and it just says continue. It doesn't look like it is spinning, but it's kind of odd. I'm not really sure what happened. The only thing that we did was update the, so the firmware. So I clicked OK and thought that it would continue printing. It didn't continue to give me an error. So it looked like it was still going through all of the steps. So I did what I'm not supposed to do and I left it unattended and figured they'll just print fine and it's only a 15 minute print or so. So I'll come back and see, see what, what the status is in just a little bit. I'm using the Bonkers Benchy G codes that are already pre-sliced. And according to the name on the G-code, the Mark IV, it's supposed to be a 12-minute print. And the Mini is supposed to be a 16, well, it says 15 and some change, so just under 16 minutes. But I wanted to see how they would compare because I know that the MK4, the Mark IV, has a little bit longer time to get everything set up with the sensor. So... I was considering, you know, which one really will be faster. But as you've seen in previous videos, usually the Mini is the first one to start moving. So at this point, I should have known if I'd been in there that there was an issue. I'll speed this up so we can see for sure that the Mark IV does start printing first and the Mini continues to not move at all. So I thought, okay, fine, I'll just zoom in on the mini and print that by itself and just make sure everything's working. And when I click the, ben the bonkers benchy, it doesn't work and then it resets itself. When it loads, I end up with a blue screen and one beep does not continue to beep. There's nothing I can do by scrolling, so I just reset it. And yes, there's plenty of other printers going in the background that you can hear. And again, I get the same error, hot end fan not spinning, check it for possible. When I scroll, it doesn't let me see anything else. So I just click continue. It thinks it had a crash. I say no, but I'm really anxious to get this input shaping work. So I flash it on a different printer, a different mini. This is a mini plus. I go through all the same process and I did have a um, filament in that I didn't want to use. I have a wood filament in and I wanted to use that same bronze that I had been showing. And when it starts to part, it has issues and resets itself. It doesn't even say anything. It just goes through tapping and then resets itself. And then once the error comes on, it's saying that I have an x-axis homing error. This one at least has a QR code to use but I'm still antsy to try it. So rather than unloading the filament, I wanna see if it's still gonna have the same issue when I start the print. Yes, it does. It resets itself and gives me the same error again. So I now have two minis that I did the input shaping alpha firmware on that have issues that I cannot print. They're both different issues, but both of these were printing fine earlier in the day before we did the update. So. I'm a little stumped. I'm gonna go through and do what the QR code says on this last one. I'm really not sure what to do on the one that just wants to reset itself and with the fan error. That one I may swap back to the original firmware and see if I'm still having issues. And I guess on both of them, I can also try to run just a regular print, not an input shaping print. So yeah, the race will be put on hold for now. I don't know if these are just issues with my minis, but it almost gives me the impression that the mini input shaping was kind of rushed. And I have minis. I think having input shaping on them would be great. Am I waiting for input shaping on the XL that they have had out for months? 
yes, that is what I was expecting first. So it seems a little odd that they went through with the minis very quickly like this. Um, I mean, it's a great surprise. I'm not, I'm not against it in any way. And I understand that it's a different process than the XL, but it just seems a little bit odd. And then when I saw what Bamboo launched this morning, I think that may be the reason that they're pushing so hard to get a super fast mini. Um, we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm really curious to hear your guys' thoughts on the input shaping for the mini, especially because a lot of my subscribers are XL fans. And so I'm curious how you feel about the mini uh, input shaping coming out first and your overall thoughts of what I should do at this point to get my minis working again. You guys know that I'm a huge Prusa fan, so I'm just curious to see what's to come. Thanks for watching.